Well, good afternoon from Melanda, North Queensland. Uh, we're staying at the Melanda Caravan Park, and there's an entrance which will come down to the Melanda Falls, which we're just about to go and have a look at. And a swimming hole, by the looks of it. And here we are at the swimming hole and the falls. There you go. Yeah, the information center here is right behind those trees. But normally you can walk across this bridge, but they're just doing a bit of uh, work on it. So you have to walk out of the caravan park and just walk over this road bridge. This is the conservation park right opposite the information center at the falls. We're just going to walk through now to see if we can catch a glimpse of some turtles here. And if we're lucky, we may spot a tree kangaroo. Yes, kangaroos that climb trees. I haven't seen one yet. And I don't think, my, don't think we will see some. Well, this is the viewing platform where you also will see turtles and I can see a little turtle down there. <laughs> He's coming there up. he comes. He's coming up. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one there. See if I can zoom in on him. Look at me, look at me, look at me. There he is, sitting on the log. And off he goes. Don't see any crocodiles yet. Maybe there aren't any in here. There. there she is, the flying kangaroo, or the climbing kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is Melanda Falls Information Center here, car park, swimming, etc. information center. This cafe here is for sale if anybody's interested. And tomorrow that's where we're heading, Atherton, 19 kilometers. Had a bush turkey in there. Where'd he go? There he is. Well, we're still looking for that elusive tree kangaroo. I haven't seen one yet. Seen a bush turkey just a second ago. They're in here somewhere. Just got to find them. There's an interesting tree. Looks like all twine together and it's going straight up there to the top of the canopy well, this is part of the river that's winding its way through the rainforest here at Melanda it's just come down through the falls then it winds 150 kilometers to the coastal township of Innisfail all the way to Innisfail okay mm -hmm. cool 
the platypus have the time here. Uh -huh. Well, we've been trekking the rainforest for days on end and still no tree kangaroos to be found. Is it a myth or not? If you listen carefully, you'll hear the, the song of the whatever bird is bloody called. <laughs> Come on, here it is. Must be the mating call. There's a tree kangaroo. There's a tree kangaroo right there. Can you see her or him? After three days of trekking the rainforest, we finally found one. Yes. Curled up there. I'll see if I can get closer with the caravan. Here it is, the elusive tree kangaroo. There it is. Can you see it? Three solid days of trekking in the rainforest, we found one at last. It's now after 4 p.m., so it must mean beer o'clock time. So we're going back to our cabin for a beer o'clock. Talk to you soon. Bye. Well, after three days trekking the rainforest, we've come back to our base camp, Civilization. So we are staying at the Melanda Falls Caravan Park. I'll show you around. Okay, so this is the reception area as you drive in. And then you've got a variety of camping spots there. We are just there where Mara's walking up to. And we have toilets and laundry right next door. And then you come down here, they have a little farmyard animals, chooks and pigs and goats. And uh, what else we got there? I think it's, I think it's a, a llama, I think. And then you got parasites over there and, and then you've got unpowered for tents etc in the middle cabins all around the park show you some of the animals here as you can see we've got some little chooks and some fluffy chooks Here's some fluffy chooks here. Hey, chook chooks. There you go. And then over here, you've got Mr. Goat. Oh, more chooks there. And a goat. Well, this is right in the middle of the park, so I don't. Not many caravan parks would have this sort of attraction with the animals for the children. And there's the cabins up, some of the cabins up there. More toilet, another toilet block over there. Okay. Two little piggies. Hello, piggy piggy. There you go. Hello. A couple of little little goats there, a little baby one there as well. There you go. And 
And yeah, plenty of area for pitching up a tent or if you want to park down here and unpower it. It is pet friendly. I believe they do have to be kept on a leash because there are chickens that these chickens actually get out and they wander around the park. Now I'm not sure, I think this is a alpaca, I believe. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Could, I don't think it's a llama, but I think it's an alpaca. More little chuggies. These little fluff balls. And as you walk across the park here to the other sections, more powered sites, a couple of little cabins up here as well. Children riding their bikes. And there's a there's a couple of little geese. They've got out walking around the park if they can find some scraps. And a chook. Hello, Mr. Chook. Hello, Mr. Chook. Hello, Goosey Goosey. Hello, Goosey Goosey. <laughs> Couple more chooks up there. And this is tea. After our three day trek, she's there having her happy hour drink. Yeah, so this is the men's toilet down here and showers. Ladies is next door with showers and also the laundry. Laundry is $4 per wash and the dryers are $4 per wash. And then we have one little Shetland pony up here. Keeping the grass short. And here he is, or she is. Oh, hello, hello there. That's a little view or a little tour of the caravan park here. Uh, costs for us on a power site was $33 per night. Well worth it. And uh, yeah, nice big sites, concrete slabs. Everything you need. Anyway, that's a wrap from here. We'll see you at the next destination.